<laughs> oh, hey there, once again, dude bros. I'm yet again reporting from my filthy ass of a basement, my room, whatever the zone is. And uh, once again, just coming here, talk about some bull that nobody cares about. Just like, you know, the, the three or four people watching, uh, you might care about this. So, recently a show that I actually really like has come up recently in, not the news, but just within my stream of consciousness. Uh, this show being none other than Ballmaster. Uh, and it, it made me realize there are quite a couple shows on Adult Swim that, like, I don't really hear many people talking about. And this show really falls into that for me, honestly. It's it's really goddamn good, and I feel like I, I'm not, it doesn't get as, as much credit as it really deserves. So I guess I'll just talk a little bit about those shows. Some y'all are going to get educated, going to watch some good things, I hope, maybe... You know, uh, branch out from your uh, Rick and Mimi, your uh, Pickle Rick. No, but all seriousness, those shows are good. I just dropped it past the second season. Wasn't for me. But personally, I find these are some of my favorite shows on Adult Swim right now. Shows that I feel like probably need a little more recognition. One show that I really enjoyed was... It had to be Joe Para. It's a show that really takes time to grow on you. I, I feel like a lot of people watch it and they might have given up on it in the first episode. Hell, they might even give up and un uh, they let anybody know uh, who hasn't heard of Joe Pair before. It actually started as a YouTube video that they released on the Adult Swim page. Uh, they have this fun little thing where they like to release these somewhat goofy, out-of-nowhere kind of videos that don't typically follow any structure. They're kind of just strange. Uh, that's Adult Swim. That f all this bullshit. I throw out anyways but uh yeah it started as like a kind of asmr video which they in fact turned into a very long run asmr type video but aside from that joe para is like it's really good it, it, it i think the best way i could sum up watching joe para is like a comfy day in summer like like imagine like a cozy day you're visiting that one asshole uncle and you're just sitting around, having a cozy time. He's talking about some bullshit you don't care about. But, but it's comfy, right? The sun is out, and, you know. It's the right vibe. I feel like that's kind of what Joe Parra captures. The character is kind of like a mental... No, he's not even mentally stunted. He's just like a goofball, but I love him. It's kind of like a bridge between Napoleon Dynamite and, I don't know, any number of Adult Swim shows, because it's just... It's it it's never insulting. It's always wholesome. They never poke fun at him too much, but it still comes back to that kind of Adult Swim, Napoleon Dynamite esque humor where he is a bit of the butt of the joke, but you never feel like you're laughing at him. You're kind of like, ha, it's funny, but you know what? I kind of like this. It's it it kind of counterbalances the kind of humor they typically have, which is so much leaning towards the lol so random whoa 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 fucking pickles whoa 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 what is this oh poo poo oh shit peep fuck tits I'm trying to think now oh space ghost i feel like everyone knows about space ghost but typically i feel most people my age don't really gravitate to it because it's old but this was the show that basically kick-started almost everything on adult swim it fucking kicks ass man like, it was Eric Andre before Eric Andre was a thing. In fact, he actually used that as a reference for what he would create his content around. But this show was awesome. It was just some stupid cartoon with a bunch of, like, used footage from, like, Hanna-Barbera archives. And they, like, mash it up to make it into, like, a fake interview. You never went to watch the show, and you never... There was no expectation of an actual interview to take place. It was just fucking... Space goes shoot the shit and making fun of this no well not really making fun of them but just going off the rails with their questions. From my understanding, I believe they got somebody to stand in a stupid costume and they'd interview them. But like, apparently they had to stop that because it was just laugh while they were recording it. I could be wrong about this. I'm not exactly the uh, greatest person for uh, truth in terms of uh, you know documented shit on media. Uh, <laughs> so just forget about that. Yeah, they it was a it was a great show. They got a number of like pretty big celebrities to come on board to basically do what they did with Eric, Tim and uh, sorry Eric Andre, but uh, it was just 
it was just more nuanced and uh, just more absurdist in a kind of casual sense of it being a fucking superhero being just interviewing somebody but not even doing it just like hitting on them and asking to like meet their mom or something like that it was it was weird but honestly i love it because of the fact that it like really did kickstart a lot of the best shows on adult swim it's where like they realized oh yeah we can make things without a budget like at all like at all that shit was made on flash i believe like it's just like a bunch of old assets from hanna barbera and now the only reason i'm actually making this video because god damn it I want this show to get bigger. Probably won't, but who knows? I mean, I if they got a second season, that's good enough for me. Joe Perry got a second season. Wasn't as great as the first season, honestly. I felt it was kind of weak, but still really good. Grocery episode. Hands down, best episode. I think uh, this, this fucking scene here speaks for itself. But anyways, Ballmaster, god damn it. I love this show. It is so beyond stupid. It was made by the guy who made uh, Super Jail. And to be honest with you, I never got around to watching Super Jail. I feel like, I don't know, everyone's going to tell me to watch it. But I feel like this show really hit down, it hit, it hit, it hit, it hit, it hit differently. Uh, specifically because I'm a fucking weeb. If you hadn't noticed from some of the videos cataloged and one of my top viewed videos on my channel, which is literally just a fucking repost of a show that I liked. Sorry, copyright police. But the main reason why I fucking loved it was because it was just, oh man. It's been a while since I've watched an Adult Swim show and felt like a weird sense of nostalgia for a show. Uh, Rick and Morty was fun, but honestly, I... I it, the animation is shit. Let's get that. Let's get this over with. The show is not for the animation, though. It's the comedy, the characters, and despite what my girlfriend says, it is fucking funny. It's stupid. Yes, Rick is a dumbass, but it, it, he's an interesting character in his own way. But don't fucking you know, don't look at the fans as an excuse for like why to shit on a show. But aside from that, Ballmaster, that shit is for. It is. It is comedy at its absolute finest, I will admit. And the best part of it is that it caters to fucking weebs. The show is basically just Mad Max in space with anime references. This show is great, man. It, the characters are weird. The designs are great. The humor at times could be a little odd and out there. But the show stealer for me, honestly, is the animation. If you fucking love anime, you love animation that's, like, great, it's not perfect. It's pretty simplified. But I just love the scratchy, hand-drawn animation that they have every now and then. It's like every moment an intense scene happens, and it'll be stupid as shit. Like, there's this one guy who's literally just, like, a... Uh, it's probably the wrong anatomy here, but a torso... He's literally just a dude's torso with abs, a head, and a weird thing on his fucking head. Like a weird cement block thing. And he has this like super long animation that is just, it is ridiculous. He's about to do some super anime combo move or fight move. And it's just like so absurdly well drawn, although kind of scratchy, which I love. And it all goes to nothing. <laughs> He always gets fucked over but it's just it's just it's great there's a lot of moments like that where it's just like what what the fuck where this animation come from the fucking fucking madhouse come in here and they th threw one of their fucking early proteges in there like like it's gonna draw this shit in like a minute and throw it in there and it's good it still wasn't good so check it out man fucking check it out take it from this fucking disgusting weeb ball master it's a fucking classic